my top 10 key definitions to revise before tomorrow. Pause the video and see how many of them you know off the top of your head word perfectly. Vector um, is a quantity that has a magnitude or size and a direction, as opposed to scalar, which has a size only, no direction. Resultant force is the combined effect of multiple forces. You could be asked to calculate it. That's what it means in words. You do need to know Newton's laws. Newton's first law states that an object will continue at constant speed or stationary um, unless a resultant force acts on it. Center of mass is the point at which the mass of an object can be considered to act from. Stopping distance is made made up of thinking plus breaking distance and Hooke's law is a two marker. Hooke's law states that the extension of a spring is directly proportional to the force applied only if the limit of proportionality is not exceeded. Frequency is the number of oscillations or number of waves per second. Transverse waves are oscillations, uh, a wave when oscillations are perpendicular to the direction of energy transfer. Um, if you replace the word perpendicular with parallel, that describes a longitudinal wave. A solenoid is a coil of wire with current flowing in it and an induced magnet is a magnetic material that's placed in a magnetic field and becomes magnetized for example a paper clip near a magnet becomes its own mini magnet now i've got 10 more if you're doing separate science you need to know these as well so this is the separate science edition First of all, a moment uh, is a turning effect of a force. If you're ever asked to find the components of a force, those are two perpendicular forces that have the same effect as a single force. It's a version of a resultant force, but they are perpendicular to each other at 90 degrees. Uh, elastic deformation, you could find this on combined science as well, um, but an object returns to its original length when the force is removed. An ultrasound wave is a sound wave with a frequency higher than 20,000 hertz or 20 kilohertz. Specular reflection is reflection from a smooth surface diffuse reflection is from a rough surface conservation of momentum states that momentum before equals momentum after an event only in a closed system or when there are no external forces Inertia um, is the tendency of an object to remain at rest or at a constant speed. Um, if it's got a higher inertial mass, it means it's harder to change its velocity. Now, the last couple um, are quite tricky. Main sequence is a stable part of a star's life cycle where gravity, force of gravity is balanced by pressure from nuclear fusion outwards. CMBR stands for Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation, and that is radiation left over from the Big Bang, which wavelength has been stretched due to the universe expanding. That's why it's radio um, in the long wavelength area of the EM spectrum. And a split ring commutator, what it does is it swaps brushes and um, will swats over contact uh, to reverse the current direction every half term. So make sure you go through and memorize as many of those as you can and they'll help you understand different parts of the topic as well.